Hi, I'm Ben and I'm the founder and CEO of Gymshark and I am very proud to be the patron of the Birmingham Women's and Children's Hospital charity. I'm here today to introduce you to two incredible people, Sophia and Miski. Now I met Sophia earlier on at the start of this year and she told me about her mental health journey and I was so inspired by what she'd done and I knew instantly that Gymshark and the Gymshark community could help. On top of the turmoil and all of the challenges of growing up, young people have faced more uncertainty now than ever. And as a result of this, the number of young people that are struggling with their mental health are now at an all time high. And that is why I want you to help me support young people in Birmingham and beyond. As a direct response to this, Birmingham Women's and Children's Hospital has launched a new, first of its kind, youth peer support program to help support young people in Birmingham with their mental health. Please watch this video and then check out how you can help at the end. So I started self-harming when I was 11. Because I didn't deal with it, it came back to Roots Ugly Head when I was in secondary school. And in year eight or year nine, my way of dealing with things began was essentially to restrict my eating. Mm -hmm. So that's the way that I felt in control of what was going on. When I kind of wore this mask around my, around my family, around my friends. Mm. And then it got to the stage where I couldn't hide it anymore. So when I was 15, I was admitted into hospital. And that was difficult because everything that I'd worked so hard to hide from everyone, this big secret of mine suddenly wasn't a secret anymore. And what were you, what were you admitted into hospital for? It was initially um, for severe depression and anxiety. And then after being there a few weeks, it became very apparent that I also was, had a very well hidden eating disorder. I was so angry that I, was still alive. I was so angry that these people were trying to make me better because in, in my eyes, that was it, like it was impossible. And it took months and months of really intense therapy for me to realize actually, maybe there is more to life than feeling so awful all of the time. That for me was my turning point where I kind of thought actually, I want to fight to be better, I want to fight to be well. Oh, can I just say, you should be really proud of Thank who you've become you. and you should be proud of yourself. You. I find you massively you. inspiring. Miss Key, tell us about yourself and tell us your story. I remember sitting with my mum and kind of like crying and telling her that I felt like a failure and that I didn't deserve where I was in life and I didn't do anything to kind of like warrant what I had and everything that I'd achieved in my life. and. I actually had a scholarship to go to university um, and I kind of like felt like a fraud and that kind of led to me having a, what I would say was a mental breakdown. I was admitted to hospital for psychosis and I'd started hearing voices. I was believing in conspiracies and that people were out to harm me and it was a very scary and isolating experience. And I think a lot of people kind of have this get over it attitude towards mental health that a lot of people don't understand that it's not something that you can stop or prevent or you can't it's not flick a flick a switch, right? Exactly, or it's not a weakness in your character or a moral flaw that you have. I very much see my relationship with my mental illnesses as being more of a long-term thing. There will be good days and bad days where you think, oh wow, maybe I am recovered and then something hits you and it takes you right back and that's okay. It isn't something that I have to kind of repress or hide because that's when it kind of escalates into something a lot worse. The sooner you accept it, the more likely you are to recover. If we could turn back the clock, how helpful would it have been for you to have someone like yourself that could help support you through what you went through? It would have allowed me to kind of accept my diagnosis sooner and allowed me to move on with my life. And I kind of felt voiceless, whereas if I had a peer support worker who's kind of role was based on mutuality and what we'd shared and we, what we yeah. had in common, that would have helped me. I think it almost bridge that gap and help support you as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. I think having a peer support worker who had been in the same situation as me, maybe he even looked like me from a similar background, 
would have shown me that actually I'm not alone and that it's it, it's okay to be feeling what I'm feeling and to be going through what I'm going through and also that there's hope because I think for someone to be in a peer support role it takes a lot of courage on their part and I think it gives people who are really struggling hope that actually things can get better and I think that can be the difference between someone deciding that they want to recover and not. If you've had a mental health problem yourself or you know someone that is living with one you will know how important it is to have someone supporting you in your corner. If someone that you know, someone you love and care for is going through psychosis or experiencing mental ill health, seek help for them yeah. because they will recover and they will go on to lead fruitful lives. And Birmingham is a really diverse city and we mm -hmm. need people from all sorts of backgrounds to come together and support young people who will be the leaders of the next generation. Peer support workers would make such a difference to so many young people across our city. And I think it's, it's just so important to invest in, in the future, in our young people. Each of the peer support workers will have experienced their own mental health difficulties in the past and they'll be using their lived experiences to support others who are suffering. And this is invaluable to someone that is going through mental health difficulties. Someone that can hold their hand and show them that there is light at the end of the tunnel. This is a first here in the UK and we're hopeful that others will then follow what we're doing here in Birmingham. If you're a young person struggling with your mental health, please reach out and seek help via one of these organisations. Please join me in helping expand the peer support programme by giving personally by donating online at fightforallthefields.org, getting your company involved by funding your own peer support worker for the year, and finally by taking on a sponsor challenge in support of our young people.